Let's talk for a moment about branding. The first question many people have is whether you should use your own name or create a separate brand for your blog. That really depends on your preferences. Your personal name is more open-ended and can evolve with you, but a separate brand is better suited for building a sellable asset. If you think there's a chance you'll ever part with your blog, it's probably best to create a separate brand so it's less dependent on you as an individual. Naming is hard, and it's probably my least favorite part of starting a new project. Spend some time thinking of a good name and brainstorm ideas with other people if you can. Try and come up with something you're happy with because you're going to be stuck with it for a while, but understand that the name really doesn't matter all that much. For example, what was a Twitter before Twitter? What was a Google before Google? It's up to you to create meaning around your brand. As you're brainstorming ideas, you'll want to check to see whether your favorites are available as domain names. Domainer.com is a great tool for this. It's D-O-M-A-I-N-R.com. It'll show you exactly which domains are available for the name you enter, along with some creative variations. I recommend going with a .com domain if possible, just because people still tend to trust it the most, but I'll also say that the extension matters less today than ever before. Again, it's up to you to build a meaningful and recognizable brand. Once you've decided on a name, you'll probably want a logo to represent your brand visually. I design most of my logos myself in Photoshop or Illustrator. I'm not a graphic designer, but I can handle simple text-based logos. Uh, but I've also had great results working with 99designs, where for a couple hundred bucks you can hold a design contest and have dozens of designers compete to create a winning logo for you. You can also use services like Upwork and Fiverr for design, but you have to watch out for low-quality designs and trademark infringement on those platforms. 99designs guarantees all of its designs to be unique and trademarkable with the U.S. Patent Office, so to me that's worth the extra money. But again, you can always create something yourself with Photoshop or Illustrator or even a free program like GIMP.